it's a very cold Tuesday December the 8th and these extra plants that were left over the Landis winter lettuce is amazing it's even though it was frozen it looks perfect now the Simpson black seeded lettuce I didn't expect to do anything because it is a summer lettuce the Siberian kale looks like it's beat down the kohlrabi have survived the cold weather and the red Russian looks a little bit limp and right now if you take your finger you can't push it in there because the little blocks are setting in frozen solid I'll come back later today when it thaws to see how they look as they say believe it or not these plants are the ones that were frozen solid including the dirt on this rolling greenhouse table the other day. This right here is black seeded Simpson lettuce. That's a summer lettuce. I can't believe it survived. I'm not surprised by the land and winter lettuce. And these are just extra plants. I've got this stuff planted in the garden. The Siberian kale, that doesn't surprise me. I've raised it and actually harvested it by dusting snow off of it. It's one of the few plants that if you can get enough sunlight it will continue to grow. This is some of the extra kohlrabi and that's an extra tray of Russian red kale. Yeah, I tend to always put too many seeds in the ground when I get started. Lucy, come here. You're, you're making it rough on daddy, jerking it. Okay, this is the little kohlrabi plants that were on the rolling greenhouse table in the trays. I thought, goodness gracious, if they're going to go through such harsh freezing temperatures and freeze solid, I'm going to give them a little bit of a chance. I'm going to move them to the garden. And these little plants are some of the little red Russian kale plants. Now, this is not where I would want them, but this is where I put them for the winter. We'll see if they have a chance to make this spring. If they make it through the winter, I should have some of the earliest spring crops you've ever seen.